The text of the bill to provide foreign aid to Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan and increase U.S. border security could be released at any moment. It can't come fast enough for lawmakers. Between Donald Trump's opposition and what negotiators call rumors, what once looked like a promising bipartisan victory may not get passed in one piece, if at all. And so everyone's going off of Internet rumors um, and there's lots of things that are out there that are just patently false. Lankford says the single biggest piece of misinformation is that the bill would allow 5,000 people a day to enter the U.S., at which point the border would be shut down. Lankford says he would never agree to that. It's not 5,000 in. It's everyone who doesn't qualify out. Here's what Lankford says is really in the bill. Enhanced asylum screenings, increased migrant detention capacity, increased deportation flights, an end to catch and release, and a daily cap on immigration to prevent the Border Patrol from becoming overwhelmed. When we get overrun, it stops all traffic and pushes it back to Mexico and says, we're not releasing you into the country, we're turning you around until we can actually process people. That is being completely mischaracterized. Although Republican support in the Senate has diminished, unanimity or near unanimity from Democrats, along with 25 Republicans, is still enough to get it approved. I think it's going to be approved on the Senate side. I think the House, it's a little more of a question mark. House Speaker Mike Johnson says, based on what he's heard so far, it's a non-starter in the House. I hope some of this is not true. Uh, but, but from what we've seen, clearly what's been, what's been suggested is in this bill is not enough to secure the border. There are two main issues here. Both get worse with time. One, lawmakers lose the political will to get it done in a presidential election year. And two, the need to send help to Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan increases, meaning they may have to do that separately. The more you change the bill, the more partisan it becomes. And at some point, instead of being bipartisan, it becomes partisan. And at some point, we have to make a decision, too. How much more can we give before we walk away? And I think we're there.